Far too often people don't realize how much influence the corporations really have on our everyday life. Um, personally, I believe in the ideals that the founding fathers set down, you know, freedom, democracy, they had a good, good idea, but it's too often people are like, they're worried about, in Morgan, they're worried about these little things and they don't realize that it all ties together. You know, it's not necessarily just the end of corporate personhood, it's, um, governmental transparency, it's coming together to, to kind of create a new way of living, it's um, working through our differences as people and realizing that our differences give us strength. What's happened here in the last couple of weeks, here in the last couple of days at camp has been us learning to, to decentralize and go by consensus and really like experience what democracy really is. And, and they just think that you're trying to stir the pot to cause trouble or um, they get too wrapped up in the, the message from the media that it's a, a hopeless battle and the, all of that um, really negative mind frame of you can't change it, why, why try? And we wholeheartedly believe that we can change it. That's why we're trying this, because we can. People are given free reign to do as they wish meaning they can find out what responsibility means in some of the most irresponsible manners. They want you to not realize what you're doing. They want you to not know what the hell your place is in any sense at all other than the way they direct you to know. That's why people should give a shit because it's a very, very, very self-serving reality and uh, form of process. Hopefully we undo all this, and what I mean by undo it is we evolve past it. We make sure we didn't leave any scrap, any important relative scrap behind. And unfortunately for humankind and evolution in general, we have to make a lot of mistakes to realize what the hell it really takes. I've never met a greater group of people in, in the past several years as is such that we are camping out here on the front lines in San Francisco occupying the Federal Reserve in New York, London, Paris, Tokyo, all around the world. We would like to see the money, the bad money taken out of politics. We'd like to see the end of market manipulation of political processes that our ancestors worked very hard on to ensure that freedom and liberty and the pursuit of happiness was available to all for all time. We represent an outpost on the West Coast. Now all we have to do is fill in the numbers between New York and California and we can affect some change and wake some people up. If you join the movement, you can express your will. You can live for free. And through living for free, you will learn to freely live. You will meet a cast of characters, the likes you've probably never known. You will be wanting to throw away your television set to indulge in real life. All, all I could do today was, was come down here. That, that's all I could do. You know, first you walk past and you see the people, and then maybe the next day you come down and you sit and listen. And the next day you come down and maybe you make a sign. You know, the factories in my hometown are still shutting down, you know, and I have an uncle who is just laid off. It makes you angry to see everything that's happening, and it, it feels like there's nothing that you can do, is, is what it felt like. Uh, I have a job too, you know, and uh, I work during the day. I mean, if, if everyone were to give 30 minutes a day, you know, if everyone were to show up at the same place half an hour a day, you know, that'd be a whole lot of people at once. It, it's sort of like going there and, and seeing 
that there are so many people who feel the same way.